Hello everyone and welcome to another video about Python. In today's video we'll utilize the regular Python interpreter as well as the one built into idle. Additionally we'll talk through how to utilize the integrated development environment within idle which is nothing more than the space in which we can develop our own code and scripts. We'll also talk through a couple of shortcuts that will be useful to you as you start your Python journey as well as executing your newly developed script within idle, but then also from the traditional command prompt. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a folder um, that I can use as my workspace. I'm going to create mine on the root of the C drive, but you don't have to create one or even create yours there. This is going to serve as the place where I put all my Python code, I like to do something like this so I can put all my code in one centralized area. The next thing I'll do is I'll call upon the Python interpreter. When I do so, I can execute whatever code I like right from within the shell. Now this is great, but if I'm trying to develop scripts, this is largely not the place that I would want to do it. And I would want to have something a little bit more granular, if you will. So this is where I'll look to utilize idle. I'll open idle and immediately you'll notice that it drops me directly into a Python shell as well. And just like the regular Python uh, interpreter, I can execute code directly from here. For me to utilize the idle IDE, I can do file, new file, and a little area appears in which I can type code. This is nothing more than an area in which I can type my code all the way out, save it as an actual PY, and then execute it. So this is a development environment. Okay, so with that being said, let's start to write our first script. I'm gonna print something to the screen. So I'll start by typing out print, but as I do that, the interesting thing about idle is that it has a tab completion feature. So I've typed PR and I'll hit tab, and from there, idle is gonna to present to me a number of options based upon what I've started typing. Again, I want to print something, so I'll select that and I'll continue on. Notice how idle is also trying to give me some help as far as how do I use this. I'll continue on, and the statement I want to print is hello universe. Once I have this, I want to execute it. I can do that by selecting run, and then run module, or I can simply hit F5. If I am utilizing idle and creating a code for the uh, first time, script for the first time, uh, and it hasn't been saved, idle is going to prompt me for that. So that's the screen that I have before me. I'm gonna select OK, acknowledging it needs to be saved, and then Idle's gonna open a screen for me to select where I want to save this code. I'm gonna go back to the root of C, select my uh, workspace that I created called My Code, and I'm gonna call this program, Program 1. Once I do that, the code continues to run, and I notice it printed Hello Universe to the screen. Now, let's say I come back in here and I add a little bit more. So, Hello Universe, how are you doing? From here, again, I can run and then run module or F5, but notice how I have this star here. This is insinuating that the code I have in my uh, development environment is not saved. So idle would prompt me to save it. I could also do control and S to save it and notice that star is gone. Now I'll select F5 and look, my code has now run. Again, the minute I start adding more to it until I save it, I have that star that appears. Okay, awesome. 
Now, let's say I wanted to take my code, this script called my uh, program one dot pi, and I wanted to execute it, but not in idle. Let's say I was going to send it somewhere, or I just want to execute it, not within idle. I can open command prompt, and because when we installed Python, we selected to add Python to our environment path, we can simply just type Python, and it would drop us down into Python interpreter. Awesome. I'm going to do exit, open and close parentheses, and that puts me right back into command prompt. So, what we'll do is, we'll call upon Python, we'll specify the path to our script that we want to run, and we can tab this out, and then we'll execute it. So notice, I've called upon the Python engine, I've specified a path to my Python code, and that Python code has now executed. Okay. That's awesome. Now, I, I want to highlight that the idle IDE is nothing more than a place for me to type my code. I think another example of that, just to kind of bring it back to perspective, is I'm going to open Notepad and I'm going to develop Python code right from within Notepad. So in this case, I'll declare a variable called name. I'll utilize the input statement and I will prompt the person for their name. What is your name? On my next line, I will print whatever their name is and I will utilize uh, another input statement. I'm doing this third input statement because once the name is printed, I don't want my code to uh, terminate. I want it to just sit there, allowing the user to see what's going on, and then when the user press enters, for it to terminate. Nonetheless, I'll save my code in my area in which my other code was, And in this case, I'll call this program2. Now, I'll come down and actually put .py on this one. Now, I've saved it as a Python script. The .py is the thing that my system associates with Python. Notice the icon. Now that I have that, I can come back to something like command prompt and I can call upon Python again, give it my path that I'm utilizing tab to tab out, and I can execute it. So it prompts me for my name and I'll say Nando. I'll hit enter and it prints out Nando. Notice how my code has not terminated because it's waiting for me to hit another key, right? just like in my script where I had that um, input statement on the last line. So I'll hit enter and now my code terminates. Awesome. So if I wanted to run program two from within idle, I can open up my idle IDE, do file, open, select the file, and from there, I can run, run module, or I can do function F5. In this case, again, what is your name? I'll type Fernando. It prints back Fernando, and the cursor is still there because of this input statement. I'll hit any key and now my code terminates. So, we've gone over utilizing the Python interpreter, the regular one. We've gone over utilizing the Python interpreter for within idle. We've talked about 
utilizing the idle IDE and developed our first script. We've executed that script from within idle. We've highlighted a few shortcuts such as the tab to uh, give you options based upon what you've already submitted. We have utilized F5 to run our code. We've utilized Control S to save our code. We've also executed our code from within, um, from, I'm sorry, from with outside of the Python environment. That is where we opened command prompt and called upon Python, but then also specified our full path to our Python code. And then we were able to go back and forth. It wasn't a thing of only code executed or developed from within idle can be ran in idle. As long as it's a Python script, it doesn't matter where we develop it. We can still run it from within idle or we can run it from another uh, environment just like we did with command prompt. Okay, well, that wraps up uh, today's video. Thanks for joining us in our adventures in Python and I hope this was beneficial to you. Thanks.